Hello, um, so we are here today to move into the last focus area woo -woo, um, that some of us have, which is conservation of energy. Um, and this is also gonna apply to our next project, which we will do. Um, so first, we're gonna, today we're gonna go over objective one, which is fairly easy. Thinking about what does conservation actually mean when we think about you know that in terms of energy. Basically what that means is, Energy is not created or destroyed, it's just transferred. So basically what that means is you cannot make energy that doesn't exist or you can't destroy it. All that happens is that it moves from one object to another. Um, for example, I have this fidget spinner here, right? If it's not moving, it has no energy, right? But if I push it, ooh, then it does. Um, so in that, my hand, when I push it, my hand is losing that energy and the fidget spinner is gaining that energy, which is what actually makes it able to move. Um, but there's no energy being destroyed or created. It's just moving from my hand to the fidget spinner. And that would go for any object that you move. You're just transferring energy from you to that object, right? It takes energy to move something. Um, similarly, if we look at this example, say we had a bouncy ball and we dropped it from a height of about two meters. If all of the energy was conserved, that ball would hit the ground and bounce right back up to two meters, the same height right? That doesn't always happen. It just is if all the energy is truly conserved. It will, any object will move right back up to the same height that it was dropped at. And you can see a pretty cool example of this in the next video below. Just make sure you answer the three questions with this video first. That's it.